Ladies and gentlemen, this is Megan Hess. Megan was once a funeral home owner in Colorado, and she recently pled guilty to selling body parts without the consent of the families. Wow, people will do anything for a buck these days. So a former Colorado funeral home owner pled guilty on Tuesday of defrauding families by selling body parts of the deceased without consenting with their relatives. Megan Hess ran the Sunset Mesa Funeral Home and a human body parts business called Donor Services from the same building. She admitted in federal court on Tuesday to defrauding at least a dozen of families who wish for their loved ones to be cremated. Court records show her body dealer firm harvested heads, spines, legs, and arms, and then sold them, mostly for surgical and educational purposes. Hess, who previously pled not guilty, is set to be sentenced in January. So uh, she still got a quite a few months to be free, right? Prosecutors are asking for 12 to 15 years in jail. Okay, so Megan is out on bond right now, and she's going to remain out of jail for the time being until her um, sentencing, which is in January 2023. So she's not in jail. Now, she operated this funeral home with her mother. Her mother was Shirley Koch, and they operated the funeral home and were indicted by a grand jury in March of 2020 over accusations that they were using the funeral home to sell body parts forging signatures and misleading families about what happened to their relatives' remains. Yeah, I guess, how would you hide uh, removing a head and removing arms and legs? <laughs> I think those things would be pretty obvious to people, you know, their family members. Okay, so... Hess and Koch founded a nonprofit organization called Sunset Mesa Funeral Foundation in 2009. The organization was a body broker service operating out of the funeral home doing business selling body parts to third party authorities said. The indictment said that from 2010 to 2018, Hess and Koch charge customers at least $1,000 for cremation, many of which never happened. They also offered free cremations in exchange for body donation. Families receive ashes from bins mixed with the remains of cadavers, prosecutors said. One customer was given concrete mix. Oh my goodness as an alternative to the family member's ashes. Concrete mix. Oh, man. Boy, that's low down and dirty. A former employee accused Hess of earning $40,000 by extracting and selling gold teeth of other deceased individuals, court documents revealed. The two women also shipped bodies and parts that had either tested positive for or belonged to people who died of infectious diseases, including hepatitis B and C and HIV. This was done despite certifying to buyers that the bodies did not contain disease, authorities said. A change of plea hearing for Koch is scheduled for July 12th. Koch had also previously pled not guilty. Wow, that, what a rotten thing to do. You know, when you give your family bodies to a funeral home, you're hoping that they have at least enough respect to 
you know, not do anything that's going to further traumatize the families. But I guess she didn't care. It was all about the money, not showing any kind of dignity or respect for the dead. But that's the way it is in this wicked behind world, y'all. But please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.